Give me just one second, guys. All right, I'm gonna start in now. It goes good. All right, so yeah, got loser semis here. Uh, Vladin versus Aloha. Love kind of making a run right now. Oh man, I wish you told me that. Game one gonna actually go to Counted City. I know Aloha not a big fan of starting on PS2. So. I totally missed both losers. I'm so sorry. What the hell? <laughs> Lose words. <laughs> That's a terrible. Match. It's losers and winners. It's just the semifinals of both. Right now, uh, Aloha looking to make a run. He he lost decently early in winter quarters and already all the way down here and loses. Semis. Yeah, man. Oh man, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to spell it really quick, man, because I totally forgot. That is my fault. I apologize for the technical difficulties. You had a lot of the right letters, just not in the right <laughs> order. Yeah. Please excuse my dear Aunt Vance. Dumb <laughs> spelling. You know what it happens. Yeah. But uh, Valadin going the Samus again. He's been working on this character. It's not. It's pretty good. It, it does play like a, an ultimate Samus does play. He does a lot of these bombs, does a lot of these jab mix-ups. Yeah, uh, we kind of really saw a really great showcasing of the Samus mains in Prime Saga, YB being 13th. But Veladin kind of adding a little bit of his own flavor into the character, and it definitely shows up here against Aloha. Mm -hmm. Especially in a matchup that would be considered really hard for Samus, because while you're a zoner, Pichu is, by in fact, a zone breaker. And Pichu's just able to move in and out of your options being so fast. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, that... First time I've seen just a pivot grab miss. That pivot grab from Sam is so long. Yeah. Hold up, Toast. Go send the other chair. All right. I can, like, bounce back and forth. That just doesn't even seem optimal. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what's optimal right now. It's immediately losing it's the good. stock. A downer, man. I can just move my chair over there. No, that was good. Man. Yeah, right. Right, now Popcorn is stale, damn it. Oh, yeah. Stale and cold. It's just not even that good. But you know what? We still eat it because we're here at the Hollywood Theater. All right, hold up. The one thing I do like about Aladdin here, he's now starting to move in his options, and then he waits for that roll get up, goes to the grab, put him off stage, neutral get up. Man, there's the punish, man. Don't go for the neutral get up. You gotta be careful. Chances are you want to go for the gem get up, and you want to mix it up too a little bit because you know sometimes Samus Bane's love to go for the aerial uh, charge shot. Mm. Go for that aerial charge shot, or just cover with that fair. It covers so much. Mm -hmm. It's usually you can actually tell when Samus wants to go for fair because she's closer to the ledge. Mm. She wants to go for fair to read off a jump off the stage, or and if she's from a distance, she's usually for she's usually looking for a charge shot, and might mix it up with occasional aerial charge shots. So it's, it's kind of like you have to understand if they're closer to the ledge, it's gonna be fair, nair, raw bear, for sure. If they're closer to the ledge, those are usually those, or it could be close uh, close combat charge shot right there. All right, well immediately blast back on stage, eight two percent of the man's name, and he's immediately shooting because he knows the minute Pichu's in his face, he's gonna be taking some sweet damage. And Aloha missing the grab, Aladdin looking for more space. Mm -hmm. So far, uh, Aladdin is just doing a really good job of like allowing, he's allowing Aloha to like get in his face and throw out all these options, but he's just so good at like, all right, you had your fun, now I'm gonna hit you. Yeah. Oh, he was ready for that back air. Oh. He Who's either ready for the backer to see if Valadam was going to go for a low recovery they go for there? Well, I'm already at 146%, but Peach is at 80, so, you know, anything, and he's dead. Oh, look at the space. Bring it back here with a back air, and Aloha sets himself at the ledge. Drop down there a little bit too early, man. Yeah. You have the cards in play, right? Oh, oh and the close shoot. range try shot. Yeah, Dude, yeah. he had the cards in play. He had them in play, and the problem was, like, he showed his hand too early. Definitely. Like he had the edge guard, he just waited a little too fast. He was like a little too excited for that kill. He's like, oh, I need to get this stock off now. I need to finish this off. I only have one stock left. Mm -hmm. and the line, you know, sticking to his guns, keeping calm. Yeah, when the chips are down, man, you never want to filter. Right, now I have to mute myself because. What's up? I have to mute myself? Yeah, what's up? Yeah, All right, well, let's go in the next game. Sorry, guys. Yeah, no worries. Game two, going to go to, over to Yoshi's Island. You know, honestly, it's a fun stage. You don't see that often because a lot of people don't like this stage at all. This is a terrible stage. I mean, Never let anybody tell anybody anything different, man. I mean, you're allowed to have your opinion. Exactly. My opinion is right. 
Taco Bell's the best fast food of all time, okay? Okay, listen, Justin Wong. I don't need your <laughs> trash opinions on the mic right Yo, now. Man, did, you, did you actually see this man's soda tier list? Oh, it my was, God. It, what was that? It was garbage, man. He said Captain's Cooler is trash. Listen. Oh, bro. That man's sleeping on Captain's Cooler. Captain's Cooler is actually a top tier soda. The only people who think Captain's Cooler is bad are the people who don't, who's never had it. It's like a Krabby Patty. The only people who don't like it are the people who haven't tried it. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Toasty with the actual knowledge. And, of course, Aloha with the knowledge, man. If you get that neutral get up right there, looking like a low tier options so we might as well mix up your recoveries here wow he actually traded with an air there and almost killed him pikachu and the master of just giving you bad trades oh goes to the back air so close i feel like oh. aloha's just the one thing that aloha's doing oh man go low please well, the had there. him in every corner yeah man Never, no corner is safe yeah he had him with that down oh, oh damn, there it is a down air yeah just put him in the dirt yeah right now both characters both players looking really good on their reads Oh, hold the shield. Go for that low profile, man. Oh, my. Oh. That's, that's, that's why you pick the stage, man. Because you know you can just pull the cheese right here when you're at the corner and the slant. Yeah, just going underneath those slants. Such a such a good idea. A lot of characters actually can just make use of that and then just kind of make work of the wacky options that this oh, stage offers. Oh, good stall with a jump there. And immediately he had Aloha. Feeling like he was free to let go of the shield, man, but you're never free from oppression like that. That F tool trip, but he actually had the read because he rolled away, but he just didn't. Uh, he didn't wait long enough, and I think that's been the problem that Aloha has had. He's oh, that's that's also a problem Aloha had there. Is like he got mixed up. He thought he might have been going for possible a different aer aerial. I, I feel like Aloha just could have gone for a, j a jump. And, and honestly, he was like, "Why would you hold shield at the ledge if you're gonna give your opponent either a shield break or a grab, mm -hmm. and risk losing neutral like that? You might as well have gone for a quick attack." Yeah, if I was Aloha there, I was I was probably thinking, okay, I'm going to hold shield. The worst that's going to happen is I'm going to get grabbed and I won't die. And then he died. And he's like, well, I guess I was wrong. Yeah. Just shrugs. Guess I'll die. <laughs> Charge shot. Wait for, the, uh, wait for the commitment here. I like the fact that Aloha's finally using Thunder Joe. Gets a grab, and there's the reward for it. Looking for the dare. That's what, So far, Aloha's been really good at getting the dare, and but not really so far at getting back air, but as I said, man, I just eat the words right yeah, out of my last mouth. Last hit of back air, doesn't matter. First or last, it's all strong. Wow, can we talk about that triple roll just to get in him? Get in there? That's the problem, too, is you actually lose invincibility with rolls now. Yeah, the rolls much now more, stale out. Yeah, as a 3.0 patch, uh, it stales out much worse. So you gotta be careful. Oh man, bad here. Yeah, like, what do you mean I'm not allowed to roll forever? Watch the landing with landing here because it literally immediately Aloha will catch up. 32% with 114. Oh, wait for, wait for the damage here. Of course, Aloha goes for the sudden thunder and immediately Vlad escapes it and the back air trade and working in Vladin's favor. We're not favor. dead though. Mm, good, good, good fair because usually at that point, I'm like, Peaches want to buy some space. Up throw? Yeah, that'll do so it. Chick, boom, get him out of there. Yeah. Usually, Pichu's want to buy some space with um, with the fact that like you can actually just go for um, Aerial Thunder Jolt. Mm -hmm. So it was really good for him to understand that. All right, well, now Jake is back. Nah, man, you got to finish out the set. Finish your set? You what, 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 are we, what are we doing on the... Are we doing reps? What are you, my coach? You'll always finish your set, man. Yeah, you got to finish the set, all, all muscle, no gain, man. Finish your set. Ten reps. Ten reps? <laughs> Ten reps, man. Finish your set. I never had a personal trainer. Why not? I don't got that kind of money. Uh, you know what? That's right. I'm broke. It really does cost money to get in shape. It does. Nah, uh, that's not what. No, man. I, so I, actually, I, I guess to get in shape and stay in shape, you know? like No, get, I, that's, that's a fallacy. I'm not going to lie. You could actually just go out have an in-home gym. All, all it does, you can just go run around your block for free. That's free, man. That's the home gym for free. That's true. You can do, you can do, you can wake up in the morning and do sit-ups and, and like immediately do like push-ups. That's free. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I guess the money is for like that. I want to train this part of the body. Yeah. So you know what? I'll admit when I'm wrong. All right. Well, hopefully, man, he won't be wrong about that close-range missile. That did some damage, and he reads the roll get up. Oh, man, get this peach off my stage. Get this rat out of my yard. Vladin just kind of hopped around uh, Aloha and Aloha. It's kind of allowing it. He's uh, Vladin's got him scared in shield, and a lot of the times we're not even seeing Pichu throw out like this anti-air up tilt. Oh, down throw. Goes for the nair, and I like the fact that he go for that because if Vladin didn't tech on the platform, he would have got caught by it. Mm -hmm. I feel like Vladin is also doing a really good job 
honestly, at making sure that if Aloha gets suddenly a little bit too close, look at that look at that shield right there. He goes for, he goes for the thunder shield, then shield. Comes in, shield. Mm -hmm. Every single time. And that's how Aladdin's, Aladdin's been able to get those grabs, because he knows Aloha, he's so scared of projectiles, he's conditioned him to just hold shield for an extra second longer. Mm -hmm. Oh, throw. throw. That'll yep. do it. Bang, bang, you're out of here. First stock and go to Valadin. Only 80%. Aloha, you're gonna need to you're gonna need to turn up and get one of these stocks like a little bit earlier because he's been taking mm -hmm. so much damage before he's taking these first stock. Elf tilt though, gonna push him away. Oh, I'll be able to power through Pichu and there's a thunder jolt. <laughs> I thought I honestly thought it was a full charge shot. I really did. Oh, that was a really early up B and did he just cancel that to an actual tether? Hold the phone, I have not seen this tech. Wait a minute, Vilan, what do you know? Well, I don't know oh, I love that I love that charge uh whatever the, the, the bomb ball. ball? Yeah. yeah, yeah, it actually just rolled off the stage and hit him. That, mm -hmm. that caught me off guard. Sometimes mains actually like the stage for that single purpose. Oh, down smash man! Have a, catch a land on the landing. Mm, land even uh, shaking his shoulder. You know what? It happens. People get oh, reads. that was good. That was good. That was really good. He immediately went for he went for a rar, but no actual aerial because he wanted to see if a lot of was gonna go in front of him or behind him. So he could have gone for nair or back air. Mm. It was really good. He just showed his back and then immediately Aloha knew I have to back off. Oh, bomb ball. Set it up again. Set it up again. Why? Okay, see, that's the problem here. He's able to get the charge shot, but it would have been worth setting up again. At that point, Aloha only died to the charge shot because he was so scared to actually go into shield and get grabbed. Oh, my God. He died so fast. Yeah. You know, and if there was ever a time to use that option, it was then. Yeah, exactly. He was so scared. He, he actually just didn't go to shield because he just was so scared. He got that because of the conditioning. But if you set up the bomb ball again and frustrate your opponent, you might as well do that. It's mental damage that you're causing to your opponent. It's really big. Oh, okay. Good cross up in there. Mm. Dash attack. Oh, great. M movement here. Able to get the footsies and the pivot grab. It's a whiff punish there. And now Vladin is... He's, he's kind of moving. He's yeah. catching Aloha again at just every nook and every cranny. Oh, checks the shield. Good good opportunity there. Check the shield. Grab. Jab, I'm sorry. And move away. So yeah. how your opponent reacts to it. Yeah, I love these Samus mains, like, using this jab one to, like, for these mix-ups. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of what you have. Because jab three, jab two and three, they'll really follow up. <laughs> I, I, I never heard of jab two in my life. Yeah, Samus main doesn't know what jab two is. I never heard that. That's a new tech. Is that a taunt? <laughs> oh, I like it. Vladimir waited, because he knew, he knew Aloha was going to go for dare. He's been going for dare every single time. Oh, is that it? Oh, space back, I know. Uh, Samus is kind of heavy. Not, not too light, not too light. You're going for that thunder to immediately stall yourself out. If you go off stage, you're actually gonna die for it. Oh, this right is now, close. I think if he gets grabbed. It, yeah, that was it. That yep. was it. Bang, he, bang, get out of there. Three on a handshake. If he didn't shield, he had the charge shot. That, that's literally what it came down to. If he didn't shield, he was gonna get hit by charge shot. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, let me pack it up. Pass it over to Jake. Let's get here. Yep, back with a nice little Starbucks. Uh, what'd you get?